What is up everyone? This is your man Nero here. Today we're gonna check out this arcade game called Scourge Outbreak. Now, right off the bat, the name sounds cool and that cover art looks fucking awesome. I mean, you've got that awesome color scheme. That chick looks really badass on the cover. And you've got a person on the left side going Super Saiyan. So, <laughs> you know the game's gonna be good when you got a Super Saiyan on the cover. <laughs> so let's check it out. It says it's a shooter, action, and adventure. Now, that's a pretty good combination. From the screenshots, right away, it looks a lot like Gears of War. And to me, that's a good thing, because I love Gears of War. And this screenshot, it kind of looks like Infamous. And here's the Super Saiyan that we saw on the cover. <laughs> Look at that monster, man. That looks fucking awesome. Yeah, it looks a lot like Gears of War, even the armor that the soldiers are wearing. Look, those things even look like the polyps from Gears of War 3. <laughs> but anyway, enough dicking around. Let's play it and see if it sucks or not. What the fuck? For a second there, I thought we were gonna play a hentai game. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna up the brightness a little bit. Because like I always say, brightness for YouTube is always an issue. This looks good. It's not too bright and it's not too dark. Okay, so we've got single player game, barracks, I don't know what that means. To watch unlocked flashbacks and view your rewards, okay. Achievements, let's see if there's any subtitles. Okay, that's good. They're already enabled. I like it when they do that. Reduced core. Um. Uh, 
I don't know if putting it on low means that I'll have more gore or even more reduced gore. I certainly don't want less gore. The gorier the better, that's what I always say. Well, I'm gonna go on low, but I think that's what that means. Less reduced gore. It's kind of confusing actually. But anyway. Let's jump right in and see what this game is like. I guess you can only be this guy in the demo. Because these three are locked. Apparently this guy is wearing the crisis armor. This chick looks a bit like Sam from Gears of War 3. This looks like Cole from Gears of War if he were white. And this guy looks like a fucking psycho from Fallout. <laughs> but anyway. Checkpoint, friendly fire off. I'm not sure what this means. Anyway. Okay. Holy shit, did you see that plane? It had four engines on each wing. Son, you come from a long line of proud army officers. Honor is in your blood. Do it, Stonewall. Don't let us die like this. What the fuck? Clear your name, son. Clear our name. Whatever it takes. <laughs> this guy has issues apparently. The camera sensitivity is way too high at the moment. It feels like I'm playing on PC. Let's see how it is on low. That's much better. It was way too fast before. Okay, let's see. Look at that man. There's four fucking engines on that wing. Then there's four on the other side as well. Sure, let's play the tutorial. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing Stone anyway. The others are almost done, so hurry up. Meet me in the fighting range to run Dighton 
plastics on your Ambrosia suit. Follow the waypoint on your radar. You can't miss it. Current altitude, 35,000 feet. What's he doing? Well, good luck with that, buddy. Let me get this straight. I get this tiny pistol and this guy gets a fucking huge gun. How is that fair? Come on, man. Fine, fuck it. I'll use the pistol. So far, so good. Check your HUD's ammo counter. Fire from the hip and take out the targets. Pretty hard to aim, there's not even a crosshair. Good. The ammo counter's updating correctly. Now, shoot the targets while aiming using your HUD's crosshair. Yeah, that's much better. Shotgun and a an assault rifle. I want this one, so I can switch weapons with Y. Your suit took some damage last night, so I want to make sure its Ambrosia circuits don't break while you move around. Take cover by the counter in front of you. Now reach up and blind fire a few shots over the counter. Circuits are intact. Good. Pop up from cover and take out a few more targets using your crosshair. So far, it feels exactly like Gears of War. Good. Ambrosia's suit integrity seems solid. Wish I could say the same for yours, Merc. Now, pick up some Nakari grenades. They've got two modes, normal and adhesive. First, try normal mode on those targets. Alright. Press RT to throw it in normal mode, so... It's not fair. I want that gun. Yes, we got some problems with the Ambrosia conduit. There should be space for it. Hey Watson, try powering on the conduit now. 
I think I fixed it. Squatch Charlie Delta and Foxtrot report to your assigned pod base immediately and prepare for launch. That's cool. Starting to feel like Mass Effect. Consumption levels are acceptable. Now let's test the power drain against some live fire. Remember, every member of Echo Squad has a slightly different variant of the shield. Yours is stationary, allowing you to move freely and carry out other actions. Deploy your shield between the console and the turret so you are protected while hacking the console. Careful, the turret will fire soon after you reach the console. Alright, that sounds simple enough. There we go. That's pretty cool actually. Excellent. Your shield seems perfectly configured and should keep you safe while your suit has enough ambrosia. Now we need to test your shockwave ability. Make sure your ambrosia cells are fully charged. Go ahead and test your shockwave ability. It's calibrated to be harmless to allies, but deadly to anyone else. Nice. Good. Now use your shockwave to eliminate the holograms. Try to make sure they're all within the blast radius. Okay, so over here. Not bad. Remember that your shockwave will go through solid objects, making it very versatile in combat. You'll find plenty of ambrosia cells all over Nagari Island. Be careful though, it's their formula, so it's extremely pure and volatile. Both your abilities are fully functional, so let's move on to the other integrated systems. Your HUD will tell you when and where a squad member has been incapacitated. If you get to them fast enough, you can jumpstart their vitals and get them back into the fight. Try this now. Good. But remember, if their life support fails before you revive them, they'll die. Next, we've integrated a quick order system, or QOS, into your suit. You can use it to issue quick orders to squad members and track your own orders. Quick orders will go to the nearest available squad member, and the type of order will always depend on what you're currently aiming at. First, try giving a quick move order while aiming at the highlighted location. She must be feeling incredibly uncomfortable right now. Because look how tight that is. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we don't have oh, shut the fuck up. A quick move order, if you please. Perfect. The Quas also allows you to cancel orders. Issue an order and then cancel it. Alright, now try a quick use order on the console. Team 
hold RB and press X. That's what I'm doing. pressing X like it's telling me to but nothing's happening I don't get it I'm even holding down X and it still doesn't work oh okay I guess that concludes the tutorial. Alright, listen up people. I know you're anxious, so let's not waste time. Last night's operation in the Varic Sea was a success. Thanks to Echo Squad, the Tyrant Initiative is now close to taking out Nagari Corporation once and for all. As you now know, Dr. Reisbeck is alive on Nagari Island, located in the Sea of Okotsk. His cover as a biofuel research specialist is intact, so he's safe for the moment. Once we re-established contact with him, he provided us with some crucial intel. Our suspicions were correct. Reisbeck has discovered traces of non-terrestrial pathogens in a meteorite that Nogari have had in their possession for over a decade. Pathogens which are identical to those found in the plagues which have ravaged every corner of the world in the last few years. But I don't have to tell you about the plagues. Most of us have lost loved ones because of them. If we can expose the link between Nogari's ambrosia formula and these outbreaks, then even they, with all their power and political influence, will not survive the fallout. But there's a problem. Nogari's divine leader, Hikari Haiku, has decided to use what's left of the right, to perfect their ambrosia formula. Reisbeck believes that the meteorite will be destroyed in the process. We need a sample of that meteorite, and soon. Otherwise, we'll have no proof that Nogari is responsible for the plagues. Now let's take a look at your objective. As we speak, Tarn strike teams are engaging Nogari security forces with diversionary attacks, leaving Alpha and Echo free for covert insertion. Echo, your objective is to locate the meteorite, secure a sample of it, rescue Reisner, then rendezvous with Alpha for extraction. Alpha will escort Echo during their insertion, then stand by and cover the extraction zone. Once Echo is done, protect and escort the sample, Reisbeck and Echo back to Tarn HQ. The sample has priority. Understood? Your pods are prepped and standing by. So go get strapped in and ready for launch. This is our chance, people. We won't get a better shot. If we're gonna take Nogari down, it's now or never. Let's finish this. Dismissed. So, the main character got court-martialed. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> Can it be any more like Gears of War?
damage received, eight. How the hell did I get damaged? the local security subsystems. You'll need to find someone in that area with a proper clearance and extract their genetic signature. This guy looks like a fusion between Cole and Ty of Gears of War. And this guy just looks fucking scary as hell, man. Anyway, I'm gonna split the part here before we continue. 